what's up YouTube? Tonight I'm going to show you how to replace the two rear differential bolts with upgraded bolts from BMW. These are the new bolts right here. They do not have threads that go all the way up to the shoulder. We're going to be replacing this bolt right here on the rear diff and this one all the way back here. Now in order to take the weight off of the bolt that we'll be removing, on the left side first, um, you want to get a jack in place underneath the diff just to support it so that the bolt is easier to take out and that you're supporting the rear diff so that it doesn't just drop down. Now we're not we're not putting any kind of pressure on the rear diff. We're just holding it in place on the side that you're dealing with first. This right here is the setup that we use to get this bolt, this first left bolt out. It's going to be your E14 Torx and that's a 3 8 is a 3 8 swivel and a half inch to 3 8 adapter and then a half inch extension onto a breaker bar to loosen that up. Make sure it's on there snug. should be very easy to take out once it's loose. Alright, so here's a little comparison shot between the bolt that we just took off and the bolt that's going in. You can see that the threads don't go all the way up to the shoulder on this new one. And it looks a bit tapered. So you can see we're off a little bit and we were actually threading that um, the inside part of that bushing so what we're going to do is just jack the jack up a little bit in order to clear that hole now you'll want to hand start this new bolt because you don't want it to strip and it should be very easy to hand start if your holes are lined up correctly now what you'll want to do is snug this up a little bit nothing crazy just get that in place. Once you have the bolt snugged up you can release the jack and then once you release the jack you can torque that bolt down to 61 foot-pounds. Okay now same deal with the right rear diff bolt here. Loosen it up, support the diff with the jack, pull it out and put the new one back in and torque it to 61 foot-pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen that up now. Okay, we got to break loose. Now, what I'm going to do is grab that jack and support the rear diff on the right side. Just support it, we're not lifting the M3. Now in order to remove the right side rear differential bolt, I used the same E14 Torx socket, the 3 8 swivel with a 3 8 extension, and then your 3 8 to half inch adapter and a half inch breaker bar. It's coming out nice and easy. Again, make sure your hole is all lined up before you go and put the new bolt in. You should be able to hand start the new bolt. Now it's time to snug up your new bolt. So you want to just snug that up and then you can drop the Jack.
And once you have your new bolt snug in there and you lower the jack, you can torque this new bolt to the same as the other one, 61 foot-pounds. Enjoy your new bolts, guys.